just after getting out of isolation, Craig, my brother, and then Nick Pascoe and Chris Dunn, and myself jumped in a helicopter. Uh, thankfully, we had a pilot who was very skilled and keen to fly in windy conditions. So he flew us into Plateau Hut and we were based there for about four days. Climbing and skiing, managed to tick off the east face of Mount Cook, which is a classic ski descent line. Uh, we had great conditions, good snow, as you'll see in the video. Where's that? I'm oh, actually, on the top top. Yeah, there's the um, there's a, a, there's a big crack. kind of a birch run yeah. where it changes pitch almost. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can still see here. Um, where about? It's the left. At least we're coming down. It's like, and then just yeah. on the left, just on the left of it, is that like broken, almost like it looks like a creek. Uh, above the rock, or just to the to the left of. Oh yeah, I see it. Right at the bottom. Right at, at the, the bottom. first birch run. Yeah. Yeah, there's a creek. I can see that. And I reckon. If you kind of just like hug that on the skiers left of it and then skiers left, and yeah, and then went over the bump and then cut back towards the cave as quick as we can to the pinch, yeah, and then we'll have ourselves time to play with to make those kind of decisions, yeah, yeah. It'd be nice to top out of the east face and good time, eh? And then we can do whatever, but it looks like it's probably a bit more icy on that top ice mm, cap, I reckon. I'd say so. <laughs> That's Doors Oldaki and Tasman. Um, we've just flown in today after waiting all day in Cook Village as you do um, and getting a beautiful sunset up there in Plato Hut and you can actually see the line we're hoping to ski off Cook tomorrow there's Mount Tasman so looking beautiful we're leaving the hut in about four hours. Hey. What time? Um, after dinner. After dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it's already 8 pm. We should probably go to bed. <laughs> 1 am. On the Grand Plateau, heading towards the east face. Here's Craig. The glacier towards the east face. I've got the crampons on, but they don't need them because so far we've got nice soft snow. <clears throat> got the ice axes out too, all roped up. And then we're gonna try and find a way across the Birch Run, which is the main obstacle coming up in the next hour. It's quite a big drop, isn't it? Nice work. Here we are with Craig on the east face. Update number two, probably 5.30 a.m. I think it is. Maybe quarter to six. Five thirty-six. Morena. You know, this is the sunrise that we're working with. Absolutely amazing. Pasco and Chris are just down there. We're at the rocks. We're going straight up there. And snow's actually. Wow. Yeah, it's not bad. 
Yeah. So hopefully skiing's gonna be on. Although it looks like a pretty significant ice crack to deal with. That's too right. I reckon above all that just look for ice to me. Yeah. So it'll be like picking our way through there and I don't know if we'll be able to ski it or not, but Yeah. Well, at least the, most of the face is good. Bit snotty. <laughs> ah. Snotty, but love. Uh, apologies, viewers. We're a bit fogged up, but Craig, Craig and I are just lining up another switch over. We're just taking turns in front, like maybe half an hour each. But. As you can see, sucking in the big one. I don't know about Craig, but I am absolutely battling. Um, we're not too far from the top of the east face of Al Raki. Old uh, mm. it's here, very good, Sean. Good shit. Keep plotting it. Get momentum. Yeah, true. Sure. And then we've got Pascal and Chris just behind me there. And this is the beautiful Southern Alps. And with any luck, we'll have a pretty good view soon. Look at these rocks. So the sun's just come up, just hit us. Kind of want to get up and ski this thing before the sun's been on it for too long. Because you see it's quite steep. Yeah. He's just heading onto the ridge. Um, I think it might be better travel. It's a little bit icy, but mostly we've been very impressed for climbing or skiing. Does it get any better on the ridge? Sorry? Right. Well, yeah. Try a couple meters to the left, and if it's still shit, then we can pull out. There's the east face of Cook. Beautiful. Any better or still shit? Better, right? Cool. Sorry? Yeah, I agree, yeah. Oh, this crust makes it hard to move. So, update. Conditions getting a bit icy. That craze. Set a good route up here. Looks like he's almost on the ridge. So, so we get through this ice and then we will meet them. Maybe for a snack and then hopefully we have time to gain the true summit before the descent but we don't want to wait too long because every hour we wait is an hour more of sun on the face. So we'll make a decision soon. Big ridgeline reveal with Wheezy. What's over the back? Oh, West Coast. Right there, right? Eh? Oh. Good job. Cheers, buddy. You killed it. You killed it. That was awesome. What a morning. No corners. Nice and flat here, actually. Oh, it's, it's right there. That's amazing. Oh. Getting ready, I'll talk you through the setup. We've got the Maverick skis from Atomic with shift bindings. Pretty sick. This is my first run on them, so they look good. We'll see how they ski. I'm sure they'll be good. And we're just grabbing a MacFac base layer. And this is a MacFac ski backpack. Which is perfect because when your skis are on you can still get your stuff out. So and that's the Sammies, peanuts, yeah, all the important stuff. 
Yeah, man. Oh, nice work. Well, yeah. That was tough. That was seriously tough. Yeah. I started losing oxygen. Yeah. East face. Lake Pasco. Cinerama Coal. Plateau Hut just there. The Grand Plateau. Falling away down the breakaway. Final pitch to the summit. Yeah, boys. Just recovering, like. You do like 10 steps or 20 steps and then like you just can't catch up on your breath yeah yeah boy epic this is so insane That middle, middle part of the face, yeah, like upper middle face, where the snow would, was best. Link up there. Yeah, and then I think you could rip that. Yeah, together. that'd be sick. When we were in Kicking Horse for the World Tour, you guys must have been like one of your first ones, and um, some some idiot came into like the start zone so hot, clipped a pair of skis, sent them off the back of the venue. And they went down like a thousand vert. Is it free? Come on. Come on. Okay, so just quickly look at that one. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yep, perfect. Craig here, Weezy Davis. Hello. On the Atomic 117. Yeah, yeah. The and battleship. We're going right down to the heart. This is the heart of the Southern Alps, probably. Enjoy. You too. Everything solid. Oh, yeah, first turns of the season. Oh, the legs are feeling it. Here's Wheezy on course. Off the top of our rocky into the ice. Oh, Wheezy dusting up the lip. Yeah, Wheezy. Here we are. Baby giraffe getting the, getting the legs back. Pascal and I have radios, so if one of us goes first, find, skis this section and then finds a safe zone, yep. hides there, and then calls up and say what it's like. Oh, that's too tough. You get it in, Jeff. Oh, that looks a bit scared. Three, two, one. Wheezy on the east face. It's a little icy. Oh. Oh, how can he see? He's got two ice axes out. Pretty smart, I reckon. Have fun. I don't know if this is the fastest anyone skied the east face, but probably close to it. It's done about five turns so far. You see him? There he is. Hockey. 
Squeezy Davis on one. Insane. <laughs> that was nuts. The snow is so good. Oh, it's blower! Yeah, oh! Pesco, look out! Look out! Holy shit! Look at this little gully. It's like a river. All right, I'm going to tell Craig to go. That was so sick. You gonna cross there? All right, you go first. Alley open, and then try and just go up that wall there. Let's see if we can do it. Whoa! Whoa! Bit variable here. Few ice packet put patches. Whoa! Should we keep going or what? Yeah, I'm pretty keen to get out of here. Yeah, let's do You go for it, Chris. Yeah, that three was sick. Do you scope on the way up or do you just see it then? I might keep going but on this over there a bit. Whoa. Do you guys hear that avalanche? I might hear this. Yeah, hold on. All good? Just a super slow one.
<laughs> I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. <sighs> All right. Nice. Yeah, boy. Oh, oh my God. Oh. God. That was so rad. <laughs> Cheers. Good shot. Thanks. Oh, that was unreal. Cheers, mate. Oh. Fucking yeah, epic. Yeah. So good. Yeah, yeah boy. Oh. Oh, that was sick. Don't you mate? <laughs> Epic. It's only called fast night. I can't believe it. It's had a sick day today. Skiing with the boys. We managed to climb uh, Old Aki Mount Cook and ski the east face, which is sick. So, pretty stoked on that. And yeah, we start at 1 a.m., so we didn't really have much sleep last night. Um, climb the mountain. Uh, from 1 till about 7 or 8 in the morning and then ski down uh, got back to the hut kind of like 10 30 a.m so yeah it was a pretty big day but also just just the morning so we um just been kind of sleeping this afternoon chilling here's the view there's our hut and this is our ski line that face there so it was pretty uh pretty fun, pretty steep. Climbed up all the way up there. Um, this is the hard part here was getting uh, up onto the face of this glacier and then climbed up, 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 up under that ice cliff, straight up there, gained the ridge top of the east face. Took the ridge up to just below the summit there. We didn't want to go right on top due to respect for the mountains, but we went yeah, pretty much to the top put the skis on and then skied all the way down um, and yeah good snow powder pretty sick